Uh, Ambassador Grinnell, uh, clearly uh, you were effective here as the special envoy uh, to these talks between Serbia and Kosovo. But I wanted to ask you about another initiative you led. Uh, last year you kicked off the Trump administration push to decriminalize homosexuality. Yeah, I'm going to just talk about Kosovo and Serbia. I'm, I don't know if you can find it on a map, but this is atrocious. I have to tell you guys, you might be too young to understand what this issue is about. Maybe the older journalists should step up and say, this is a big deal. This is a big issue. I I'm astounded that what happens in Washington, D.C., and especially in this room. I, I got to tell you, get substantive. Maybe it's too complicated of an issue for you all. Rick, respectfully, but this is the first time we've had the opportunity to speak with these individuals. Okay, but today's last post on Serbia. Let's take a little time and talk about this 21-year issue, Peter. I mean, 21-year issue, we're getting the same questions that are all politics. I don't, you guys don't understand what's happening outside of Washington, D.C. People aren't listening to you anymore. It, it's really a crisis in journalism. And I think it's because people are too young to understand issues like Kosovo and Serbia. All right, can I ask How about a substantive you, question? Please? I don't think any of us came here for a lecture about our questioning. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't come but the here question to I would like to ask you, the question Serbia. I would like to ask you is, is it accurate to say that it's full economic normalization? There was some ambiguity as to whether that is what the deal is about. And what do you, what do you mean by full? Well, I, that's the question for you. No, 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 it's a question for you. What, what's your definition of full? This is economic normalization for whatever the two parties could bring together. A whole bunch on rail, a whole bunch on water, a whole bunch on a whole, different industries. So more so, accurate to say working towards economic normalization, is that fair? No, I think it's incredible economic normalization. Air, rail, motor, opening borders, uh, a, a whole bunch of industries. So again, I don't know what's missing, and I defer to you no, to say I what's, what's, what's outside of, of economic normalization that's not included here. You tell me. I'm genuinely asking so that we can write our stories accurately. Do yeah. we say that they I have would say achieved it's economic, economic normalization. normalization deal? And changed and then, from, you know, a few months ago when they pulled down the tariffs to today. What is the substantive Have you read the agreement? You haven't put the agreement out. It's up. Um, a, whole bunch, a whole bunch has changed since the dropping of the tariffs. The tariffs were the political sticking point of why we couldn't have the parties come together. The Serb side was not going to even start negotiations when there's a 100% tariff from the Kosovo. Sure. So what's the substantive thing that changed today? Like there's, the a, actual, like what is there's a whole bunch of stuff that changed today in terms of economic development, in terms of identification for uh, even some political problems that are going to be resolved. Um, I, I, yeah, I would really refer you to, to look at the entire agreement. One, one sticking point that has been for a long time something that the two sides couldn't agree on was the recognition of diplomas. If you were trained as a nurse in Serbia and your degree was from a Serbian university, you couldn't get a job in Kosovo because you weren't qualified. You didn't have the proper certificate. That now with this agreement goes away. I think that's economic normalization for people who have certificates in de dental hy hygiene, in pharmacies, uh, in, in, in pharmaceutical experts. There are a whole bunch of people who could not work simply because they didn't have the proper career uh, credentials. And this agreement completely will recognize all diplomas from universities from either side.